Good evening, Ignite Denver. How's it going tonight? Good. I guess since Valentine's Day was earlier this week, how you doing? Uh huh? Um, so thank you very, very much for being here tonight as we celebrate a huge milestone that is Ignite Denver 25. So, so for the couple of you in the audience tonight that, um, that think, ah, 25, that's not that much, uh, we do three shows a year. And so that means for more than eight years straight, we've been bringing you this educational and emotional bliss here on our stage. Um, so, so I think that's, that's pretty damn impressive. Um, and although, thanks, I'm a little biased though because I'm on the committee. Um, so speaking of the committee, um, it, it takes a lot of work to bring this show to the stage every time. And we have, we have a committee of nine people, nine of the finest human beings you'll ever meet. And they, they bust their asses all year round to put this show on this stage. And, um, and in my tenure, I've been on the Ignite Committee about four years now, um, I've seen the committee as small as three people. And so for what's very difficult for nine people is damn near impossible for three. And yet, if you look far enough back into the annals of history of Ignite Denver, eventually it boils down to a committee of one. One person that made a decision to start this. And that person is the reason that we are all here tonight. And so as part of this celebration of Ignite Denver 25, we're gonna honor that person. Yeah. So here's, here's the thing. He, he, he didn't know this was part of the show. And, uh, and now he's kind of probably a little upset at me uh, because I'm about to call him out. Uh, but, but that's okay because I have the mic and I'm not leaving the stage until he gets his happy ass up here. So, and John, if you do it quickly enough, I won't tell him that you celebrated your 40th birthday this week. So ladies and gentlemen, please give the warmest of welcomes to the man who is the reason we are all here. Yeah, I love you. The godfather of Ignite Denver. Mr. John Wilker. <laughs> you can't say shit like that. No. All right, so, so about, what, nine years ago, you saw your first Ignite? Uh, uh, yeah. So, so, all right, so about nine years ago, John Wilker goes and sees an Ignite in San Francisco, where was it? Chicago. Chicago, okay, yes, San Francisco of the Midwest. <laughs> and same, same thing. And so he came back home and he decided that Denver needed Ignite. And so w without any help, uh, he, he set that in motion. So he, he, he worked with the, the co-founders of Ignite worldwide. Um, he recruited his own presenters. He shamelessly self-promoted to get an audience. Um, and he, he built the infrastructure. He built the website. He built the committee. He did everything by himself, a committee of one that did the work of 20 um, so, so that we could all be here tonight. So um, as a small token of appreciation for what you've done, we got a couple of gifts for you. Oh my. Hang on. They're in a stylish pink farmer's market bag because this is all I could find in my garage. <laughs> it's not another 40, right? I've got two of those. No, 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 but, but, but we'll, we'll get to that. You that yeah, you're welcome. Um, so at, at Ignite, we're, it's, it's all volunteer, right? So nobody here gets paid. John doesn't get paid to do this, so none of us get paid to do this. Um, and so it takes a lot of heart. It takes a lot of soul. It takes commitment. You abandon your friends. You neglect your family. Um, you, you do a lot. I'm sorry, sweetheart, wherever you are, um, to, to put this show on. And, uh, but, but more importantly, um, it takes a shitload of booze. To, to make this happen, like John Walker or whatever. If alcohol didn't exist, this show wouldn't exist. So, so, so we decided that booze would be a good option. However, I'm liking this more and more. Yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll love this. Um, so, so the, the, the problem was though, Ignite Denver, you'll, you'll, you'll probably 
could recognize this by the ticket prices. Um, we're not blessed with like this lavish operating budget. So we, we went out and we tried to find some Johnny Walker and that was uh, a little too top shelf. So <laughs> down, down on the bottom shelf, co covered in dust in the far back corner, we did happen to find a bottle of Johnny Wilker. <laughs> so, and, nice. and, and coincidentally, I don't know how this happened, it, it says the godfather of Ignite Denver, and it's been aged 25 Ignites. Screw, screw 12 years. That's been aged 25 Ignites. So, 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 um, so may this booze continue to fuel Ignite Denver for at least another 25 shows. It, 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 it won't last that long. But, um, so, but that's not all. That's not all. There's more. Um, there is. Right behind door two. Um, so you'll see some folks out there tonight wearing Ignite Denver shirts. The red ones, they have the hashtag Ignite Denver on the back. Um, and those, we've, it, for people that come to the show, those are available for sale. And, you know, any, anyone can get one if they want one. Um, and, and they're nice shirts and all. Um, and then you'll see some folks out front um, and around tonight wearing an Ignite Denver shirt that says volunteer on the back. You can't buy that shirt. So you, you have to earn it. You have to pay your dues here at the uh, on-site, uh, help us run registration, all that kind of jazz. Um, so, so you can't buy it, you gotta earn it. Then, you, I, I would like to point out these fine specimens. Brand new, shiny, evidently with some lint on there too. Um, so our brand new Ignite Denver shirts that say, I run this on the back. And thank you to Vanessa and Sarah for making those happen. Woo! is so much louder. Um, so, but none of these seem to be sufficient for, for what you do for us. And so we had two shirts specially printed. Paid extra for this shit too. Um, let's say Ignite Denver on the front and the Godfather on the back. So, you can't buy this shirt, you can't earn this shirt, unless you are John Wilker. And that spot's already taken, so I'm sorry. I'll be leaving uh, through the back. Yeah. <laughs> Wilker has left the building. So, these shirts are for you. These are the only two shirts that will ever be printed that say this on them. You're the only human being that will own those. We will not print anymore. <laughs> um, so John, that's, uh, unfortunately there's no more, that's it. Um, and, but John, I, I do wanna say, on behalf of the dozens of people that have served on your committee throughout the years, and on behalf of the hundreds of people that have presented on the Ignite Denver stage, and on behalf of the thousands upon thousands upon thousands of Denver community members, Who's, who have been in our audience, who's, whose lives you've ch touched through your work, um, for, for everything you've done and for, for who you are. Thank you, I love you. John Wilker. Thank you, sir. That's awesome. Yeah. You, you want a bag to carry it in? Yeah, all right, cool, yeah. I love you, man. All right, awesome. So with, with all of that sentimental lifetime crap out of the way, um, now it's time to start the show. Y'all ready? Yeah. Okay, so it is now my distinct honor to introduce you to the fine lady who will lead you through the rest of the evening. So without further ado, please welcome the beautiful, the lovely, the ninja, not so ninja, the hilarious Miss Kat Atwell. Wrong side. I didn't get a Godfather shirt, nor did I get to watch John look all surprised and excited. But that doesn't matter because I'm on stage now. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Ignite Denver. My name is Kat Atwell. 
damn glad you're here. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about what this show is and uh, what you're going to see. Um, here are our speakers for this evening. Uh, I believe we have 13, if I can count that high. Yep. And, uh, and then at the end, we do have a special treat for you, too, with some performers from around the Denver area who will crack your shit up. So, um, on the next slide, by the way, Vanessa and I were working on this beforehand. She's like, okay, how can we do this seamlessly? So, you know, do you want a gesture or, you know, hey, uh, and instead I'm just gonna say, hey, Vanessa, next slide. So, uh, we're live tweeting, so, and live Facebooking. I think somebody might be on Snapchat, I don't know. Social media, if you're on it and you feel like talking about it, I'll probably see it and you might get to hear your name on here. And the more people that know about Ignite Denver, the better, so hashtag Ignite Denver. Next slide, Vanessa. Foods and things, foods. <laughs> Tonight we actually have two food trucks out there, which is very exciting, and they're both new to Ignite Denver. Infinite Pie and something creamery. High Point Creamery. Thank God, right? Because when I pulled up earlier this afternoon, my car read 76 degrees. Global warming. And uh, <laughs> so I hope you had some ice cream. Um, and Ignite 26 is going to be happening June 8th. Um, actually, our website opens up for submissions tonight. Um, and you can start buying tickets tonight. Are we doing buy one, get one tonight? Yes. If you buy tickets for the next one tonight, you get buy one, get one free. Uh, so that's exciting. And obviously you want to come back because after this show is over, you're going to be like, shit, I missed eight years of this. So... You have catching up to do, obviously. I'm looking at you, everybody. Okay, next slide, Vanessa. All right, so uh, Dan kind of already went through this. There are a lot of people that get together to do our show, um, and we're all volunteers, and we all have a damn good time, and their names are up here. And if you can't read, please talk to someone who can. They are also on our website, so if you don't catch all of our names, feel free to visit ignitedenver.org. Okay, next slide. Maybe. Oh, see, Vanessa, I'm even calling you out. Our beloved volunteers, these were the folks out front who greeted you, right? That's pretty awesome. And you know what, just for the hell of it, can you, can you like cheer for our organizers as well because they're in that general area? Yeah, now I'm going to make you do it. It's going to be awkward, but yay. <laughs> All right, Vanessa, slip it along. Photography. What? Stephanie Vale, who is also one of our organizers, who, by the way, has, why am I standing in front of this? Who um, has, has done so much work for this particular round. Some of our organizers had to step back a little bit, and she has busted all the ass. And, um, and her photography is on point. She did my headshots, and they are amazing. Ask me about them later. I'll send them to you. <laughs> Uh, next slide is going to be talking about other people. Wait, you went too fast. There we go. Holly and Kwong and Ryan are also helping us out. Super psyched. They've been involved with us before. They're helping out with social media. If you want to ever meet the fastest tweeter ever, and I mean ever, find Helene. Because <laughs> girl wears like special wrist guards so she can do it extra fast. And you think I'm kidding, but I'm not. Are you wearing them, Helene? Not right now? Later. Okay. And, and then Vanessa. Vanessa's done all of our web design, all of these amazing slides, the freaking t-shirts. Girl is a fucking rock star. So yeah, big round of applause for these folks as well. All right. Sorry, we're going through these as fast as we can. Text your mom. We're streaming live. There's the web address. Next one. All right. That's me. Hello. Thank you. Thank you very much. You'll be seeing me a lot in between speakers. Uh, so what I'm going to do right now is sort of an abbreviated spark, which is what we call our five minute presentations. Um, so I think I'm ready. Yeah, let's do this. Go. All right. So uh, who here has never been here before? S applause. Sweet. We're so psyched that you're here. If any of you, who's been here before? New people, ask those people how cool we are. 
we're that cool. Um, this is where we gather people who are passionate about stuff, who want to teach you stuff, who want to hold a microphone for five minutes and talk about whatever they want. Because that's what happens. You vote on the speakers, and then they get free reign to make any kind of slide they want, like this one. We're not perfect. Some of these people have never spoken on stage before. What's important is that they're passionate, and they're doing their best, and they're getting out here and trying. Um, like CeeLo. Uh, and the other thing that's important, uh, with me as an exception and a couple folks at the very end, they're not here to sell you stuff about their business. They are not going to be pimping their, their companies, telling you that you should come see them after so that they can take your money. It's just here for you to be enlightened. Um, Samuel is here because uh, this is PG-13-ish. I have a potty mouth. And so uh, we had a four-year-old at our last show, and um, Kenny, I believe, and uh, so I swear. Ignite, it is a five-minute presentation, 20 slides, that ex uh, they go every 15 seconds. That's all it is. It's math. But it's easy once you do it a couple, 20 times. So uh, that being said, here's my... Everybody sit back and enjoy my abbreviated Ignite talk. Here we go. I'm breathing. 15 seconds, you guys. Ah, oh, this is a long 15 seconds. For real. Okay, now when I started doing my talk, I was really laughing about it, and I'm a mental health advocate. And I'm like, I really kind of need to walk the walk here. So when I'm talking about mental health issues, I want you to keep in mind, if you are ever struggling, there are so many resources in Denver. Here's one of them, but there are lots of others. That being said, I want to talk about fear and anxiety. For a lot of people, they are afraid to get on stage. I'm not one of those people, but I have severe anxiety, believe it or not. Um, yeah, not this though, although I have dry mouth big time. Here's some things that people traditionally are scared about. If you're scared about one, just look at another one of the pictures. That is a big fucking snake fighting a big fucking spider, by the way. <laughs> yeah, those are traditionally things that you hear people are scared about. I'm sorry about the snake, Emily. Um, WebMD is one of my problems. I actually have rules from my therapist that I am not allowed to Google anything that I'm feeling in my body. Um, not kidding, I paid a man to tell me that. Uh, this is another one, running out of money. Believe it or not, these people, Lavinia Schultz and Walter Holt are the name of those people. Horribly sad story that I read about, but I'm not going to tell you because this is a lively talk, but feel free to Google them later. And I don't know if you know this, but the news is kind of goddamn stressful right now. and I'm sort of over it, and I'm so glad you're here to not talk about what's going on outside of this theater right now. <laughs> so that being said, let's take a moment and appreciate my favorite animal at the zoo, the Red River Hog, and its piglets. I mean, come on. You can see sloths all the time, but Red River Hog piglets? I mean, come on. All right, now, these are things that I am legitimately afraid of. For real. I hate getting the mail. Don't point at me. God damn, don't point at me with a rubber band. And I tore my ACL running away from a possum. <laughs> These things are scary to me, and sometimes they make me feel isolated. I have to do this so fast. If you're a friend of mine right now, stand up. Like, if you have talked to me before, if I've hugged on you, all of these people are why my anxiety is under control. And my husband, who's not here watching my daughter. Uh, and here's what not to do when somebody is panicking. Don't tell us to fucking calm down. However, if I ever flip you off and look that pretty, please capture it on film. <laughs> I was gonna make this funny, but it's true. If you're getting stressed out, suffering from fear, anxiety, get outside. Write your shit down, get it out of your body, put your feet on the grass, especially when it's 76 degrees outside in February. Um, and also give back to your community, much like we're doing with Ignite tonight. But help out those people that are outside, give back, help kids. God knows our kids need it, Betsy DeVos. Um, <laughs> So just give back, that's what's important. I didn't have an ending slide, so I thought I'd drop some Missy Elliott. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, that's how long our speakers are on stage. <laughs> By the way, I created that presentation on Tuesday night, stayed up past my bedtime till 11, and I had never said it out loud until just now. 
And thank you to my friends that brought me bread so I didn't have like the shakes too bad. Um, 